Hey guys, Cameron with Iron Forest Knives here. I just wanted to show you guys how I do uh, titration on my anodizing bath to check the dissolved aluminum levels and the sulfuric acid level. I am not a chemist, so do this at your own risk, but I'm following the directions out of uh, Aluminum How To by R.H. Probert. I would highly recommend it if you're going to get into anodizing. So in my 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, I have a 5 mil sample of my electrolyte solution and I'm adding 50 milliliters of DI water. And the instructions say to do two drops of methyl orange, but I've found that four is much easier to see. Now I'm gonna turn on the magnetic stirrer and start our titration with one normality sodium hydroxide solution. So we're measuring how many milliliters it takes of the sodium hydroxide solution to change this to orange, then we take that number and multiply it by 9.8, and that tells us how much free sulfuric acid is in our tank. I do low current anodizing, and that takes 100 grams per liter. Normal anodizing is around 163. You're gonna see the color change. It's kind of subtle, which is why I add extra, but it changed from a pink to an orange right there. And that was 11 mils. Then after that, we're gonna add eight drops of phenolphthalein, and this is another indicator. And we're going to continue our titration with the sodium hydroxide solution. And this one is going to tell us how much dissolved aluminum is in our anodizing bath. In the book Aluminum How To, he suggests between 5 and 20 grams per liter is the lower and upper limits for dissolved aluminum, but between 8 and 12 is good for color consistency. This one's much easier to do because uh, you can see it change to bright pink. And whenever it changes to bright pink, that means that we are done. And you use the uh, however many mils of sodium hydroxide solution that it took uh, after the first step is you take that number and multiply it by 1.8, and that is how many grams per liter of dissolved aluminum is in your solution. And for this, uh, for my tank this time, it was three, which works out to 5.4 grams per liter of aluminum. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, put them down below and I'll try to get to them. And uh, if you guys want, you can go check out my new knife, the Paragon, on uh, ironforest.us. Thanks. Bye.